today we are going to talk about Glenn Scott's Long Refrigerator. Oh, I'm so excited to see what we're going to do today, Professor Emily. All right, so we went into the refrigerator, and I'm sure you've got some hidden treats in your refrigerator vegetable bin, just like I did. Um, so I picked a couple of things out that actually have been sitting in my vegetable drawer a little bit too long. And Professor Emily and I are gonna show you how you can turn your old vegetables into brand new vegetables. That's right. All right, so here we go. So Emily, what's the first vegetable that we are going to use today? You know what that one is? Parsnip. 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 That's a parsnip. It's a root vegetable. It grows in the ground, just like a carrot does. Um, but the green part grows up above the ground. So um, actually, Emily, if you could take that out for one second, we're gonna put some water in. So I'm just here, you're gonna put a little bit of water down inside that for me. And the trick is you don't wanna have too much, there you go, perfect. Not want too much water because you don't want it to get um, rotten. So we're gonna set that one on the tray. So there's our parsnip right there. And the next one we have is what? Carrot. A carrot, and as you can see, this carrot's already started to grow. So we're going to put that, I think we can put a little bit more water in there. And that's good, okay, that's our carrot in there. Now, I have a question, Emily, good job. This parsnip is very similar to a carrot. So we're gonna take this carrot out for a second. We cut the top of the parsnip, we cut the top of the carrot. The bottom of the carrot is growing, you see that? So when a carrot grows, it grows down into the ground like this, and this grows up above the ground. If a parsnip is similar to a carrot, which way do you think we need to put it in the water? This way? or this way. What do you guys think? Should we put it the same way as the carrot? I think maybe we need to. There we go. Okay, perfect. There we go. Thank you, Professor Emily. I like this one maybe the next one. Next, mm, what's that? <laughs> smelly onion! <laughs> All right, so we're, we're gonna put the smelly onion right in that dish, so that needs a little bit of water. Go. Good job. And while Professor Emily is doing that, I have a little bit of a, a head of romaine left, and I'm just going to cut this right off like that. Look at that. Now, you could decide to grow this, or you could decide to paint with it. If you dip this in some paint, I bet it would make some really cool designs on your paper. But that's up to you and your grown-up to decide. All right. Um, thank you, Emily. Yep, we're going to use that one. Since it's, okay, there's some water in there. Well, I can put a little, a little too much. I think so. Let's pour a little bit back in there. Perfect. Okay, so set that one in there. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Put it in. Good job. All right, set it right over there. Beautiful. And last but not least, who knows Celery. what that is? Celery. And actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to use, we're going to combine two. Oh, we'll let's see. Hold on one second. I'm going to cut this off right here. And again, this makes a really great tool for painting. If you print it on the paper, um, it ends up looking like a rose. So, again, if you have... You have your choice. You can either use it as a science or an art project. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, set that one on the tray. Whoa, teeny onion. Now, I noticed something terrific about this celery right here. What does it have on it? That's right, it's got some leaves on it. So instead of composting these, we're going to compost all of this in our little compost bin. I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them into some colored water. 
So we're going to have two projects going on this week. We've got our growing scraps from your refrigerator project. And we're going to set these all here. And we're going to wait and come back um, every couple of days and check on them. But in the meantime, watch what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to find a container and I'm going to put these in the container. Oh, there's one. Oh, Mrs. Cashel needs to step on a stone because she's so short. There we go. They're not so right. They're what is that? That's okay. That's okay. We're fine. There we go. Emily, if you could do me a favor and pour some water in there, please. Grab some food coloring. <laughs> this is an impromptu project. Could you please drip five or six drops in there for me? Thank you. I'm going to swirl it around. You see that nice blue color in there? We're going to put these celery stalks in there. We're going to leave them in there and we'll put them on the tray with our refrigerator scraps and see what happens. Can you make a prediction? Can you think, what do you think is going to happen to these leaves? I'm, a, I'm going to ask the audience, so we're going to keep a little quiet here. Um, what do you think might happen to these leaves? So you think about that. We're going to leave them in that blue water. You can do this project at home as well. So let's see if we can grow a vegetable garden from our refrigerator scraps. There we go. Can you see them all? Let's count how many vegetables we decided to use today. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. How many scraps do you have in your refrigerator that you could try? Remember, bologna and salami I don't think will work. All right, you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Professor Emily, say goodbye. Bye-bye.